Hey guys, what's up? Team She, I'm here with Vincey today, man. What's going on, everybody? It's all good, man. It's all good, man. All yeah, good. loving the journey here today? All good, man. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just to see the boys, fellowship. Yep. Let's get results today. And we just met up with Tom as well, which we're going to meet up with him now. He's in the armory. Guys, Team She is exactly the same team that we came out with last time. So Tomiyatsu still is not in the starting 11, uh, but we do know he's been training by himself. So that means Cedric Soares, who had a good, decent game uh, in the previous match, he maintains his position at right back. It's Ramsdale in goal, uh, Gabriel. Tierney White, which is uh, at the back four. In the midfield, it's Jacka and Party. And up front, Odegaard, Saka, and Lacazette. So that's where we're going. I think today is the positive that the home record is pretty bulletproof. When it, it's still third in the league at the moment, it was tied for uh, with Man City up to the lead of Christmas. So we do know we need to fix our waveform. The issue is that the away wins are just not coming, but the home wins have been very good. So you would expect the team to win today. I've gone for 2-0. What have you gone for? I'm going to go for 3-0. Nil. Three going nil. for 3-0, nil. OK. So that pretty much says it. There's, it's, there's no frills today about the team sheet. It is as expected. Remember, the squad is only 18. So there's not going to be much variation from here on out to the end of the season. You might see one or two changes, but it isn't going to be a lot. This is it, guys. This is how we're going to roll into the end of the season. So um, what's your thoughts on the team sheet? Happy with it? Yeah, I'm happy with it, man. I'm going to give a big shout out to the African Guna. He called it midweek. He said uh, Tommy Asu would, it would be a game too soon for him. So yeah, big shout out to the African Guna. Let's get the result, man. That's what it's about. Excellent, guys. I'll talk to you at half time, man. Peace out, everybody. Yes. Nice one. What's going on guys? It's uh, nil nil at half time and really there's not much to report outside of this is Burnley all over again. Arsenal just lacking that little bit of quality in the final third. Everything seems to be going well on the back end. They're winning the midfield battle. On the flanks they're doing pretty well. Again, that overguard Saka combination on the right hand side. So good, so good and really is the strength of the team. And uh, Soares is doing again another number in, t in, in the role of facilitating the attack on the right. There's been a few sloppy moments in the midfield, but not that much. On the left, it took about 20 minutes, 25 minutes into the game for Tierney and uh, Smith Rowe to really start it to sort of pick up a gear. But the overlap is starting to work with Tierney as he presses forward and gives Smith Rowe more support. So it's kind of equally right now, we're getting support from the left and the right. But what's happening, guys? time and time again is the ball's coming into the middle and there's nobody getting on the end of it. Lacazette is swamped. Lacazette is just struggling as a presence in the middle of the box and he's just easy meat for the defenders and there's time and time again where he's just not planting his foot, he's not getting his head on the ball, he's getting out muscled. If Arsenal are going to have to change their tactics in the second half, if they're going to go into Lacazette, the ball has to be played in at the feet where he can actually do something about it. There's been two or three instances where he has got the ball at his feet and has been able to turn and make something happen playing the ball through the middle. But I think that that's going to have to be your way forward. In fairness to Arsenal, I have no idea how many corners they've had, but this is the most corners I've seen in one half. And time after time, the ball's been put through pinpoint on the six yard line and there's just nothing happening. Nobody has been able to get their head on it or even have a chance at goal. And it's a little bit frustrating, not, not just for the fans, but must be for the players as well. Because you're just lacking that anchor man in the middle of the box that can hold up play. This is where you need a Giroud. A Giroud type player, not even so much of a Giroud, but just someone like Calvin Lewin, someone stronger, someone taller, someone able to play with their back to the goal, is what this team needs. 
And at the moment, it's been the story all over from the last two or three games. So, look, um, it's nice to see Smith Rowe get a little bit of a play. He's going to have to use his ability to run at the defence a bit more. They're going to have to change it up because the crosses are not working. A thousand crosses are going in, nothing's happening. So, from a tactical standpoint, you're going to have to change up. Play the ball through the middle, have players run at defenders, have Odegaard, Smith Rowe, Saka, the players who have that ability to run at a defence. We need more of that, and then you'll have something working out. So let's look at this at the end of the game. I still feel good about this, but Brentford have got their heels dug in just like Burnley did. And the only way how they're going to change is if we score. If we score, that's going to take them out of their game plan and allow them to come out of their sort of settled composure at the back. And it will open the game up a little bit more. So I'll speak to you guys at full time. Right guys, that's it, full time, Arsenal 2, Brentford 1. And um, I hope this music wasn't playing in the background because I thought we was going to have a bit of quiet there. But just as my our half time analysis talked about, stop crossing the ball in, be more assertive, take the players who have the ability to run at defenders and dribble and play with the ball at their feet and use that as collateral to try and get something. No sooner did I say that in the second half, but Smith Rowe did exactly that, he ran at the defence, and put them under all kinds of problems. Defenders don't like that. They don't like when you're running at them. And we used the talent level that we had to the best of our ability. And that was a change that Arteta easily implemented. You could see there was a lack of crosses in the second half. And we were just being more assertive playing the ball at our feet. And it worked out for us. And again, the Halen kids delivered. Over to you, Vincent. Yeah, man, love, love it, man. The youth then bring the game. Mash up, 2-1. <laughs> Love the experience, man. Big respect Apollo, man. You know what I mean? It's just nice to see the guys play football. It's take the game. It's a London derby. It's wavering. Excellent, man. Guys, um, we're going to go and get some uh, jerk chicken and rice and peas, and then we're going to be on for the player ratings later on. So we'll see you online there, where we can talk about it more in depth. See you guys later, man. Peace out. Love it.